What's up guys and welcome back to Hand of Fate. I have gotten rid of my cold from the last time we tried this and we are ready to take on the Queen of Plague once more. And this time, you better believe that I am feeling up to par. Oh boy. Let's see, we immediately get fool's gold. On every weapon ability usage, all bandits are stunned for three seconds. Every bandit killed nets the player two gold. Hell yeah. Alright. We're gonna play this and the altar, and we are gonna whoop its ass. On a deserted hilltop in a faraway land, you discover an old altar. The gods of the old religion are powerful yet unpredictable in their favors. Do you wish to pray? Yes, I do. Okay, success, 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 huge failure. Not even going to think about it. I'm going to look at that screen, and I'm going to click the first one I see, which is there. Beautiful. We're starting off already better than last time. Dr uh, on bended knee, you beseech to the god's aid. You and your quest. A distant rumbling and a flash of lightning answers your prayer. Draw one blessing card. Treasure picker. When the player chooses from multiple equipment or game cards, the choices available are increased by one. And I got a token. Dude, I'm onto your shit. Alright. Traveling Tinker. This is a good chance for me to get some early food, hopefully. Let's go ahead and approach that shop. Especially since we're already going to have to potentially have to backtrack. I don't even care. We're either going to have to make a decision to go up or... Oh. 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 Sorry, I had to yawn. Uh, up or down. Let's go ahead and buy some food buy another food okay that gives me two food so that will make up whatever i spend if i have to come back this way uh and i'm expecting to make back my gold quite easily with the card i have so we're gonna go up going up food wagon new card Ooh. you come across a broken down wagon laden with food its owner nowhere in sight. Call out and offer help. Steal. Carry on along our way. We're going to call out and offer help. Oh, thank God you're here. A merchant leaps out of the bushes. Some bandits attacked my cart and I hid in the trees. Please accept this food as thanks. I get a food game card. See, guys, remember, sometimes you have to be good. Be one food. I don't even care. You know, that's one more than I had. And I got a token, which is ultimately far more important. Stranger in the shadows. This individual drains life for gold. We've done it before. I'm going to accept. We're going to earn more gold. We've got three successes. We're going to try the same trick. All right, I'm going to close my eyes while he's shuffling. And the first one I see, far left. This is the best strategy ever. We should do this more often. Stranger moves with unnatural speed to grasp and bite at your throat. Thank you. Uh, I have not yet sated. Would you like to earn more gold? No, I would not. As you wish, he remarks and melts into the shadows. Um, I, I'm just fine pulling it at two. We got quite a bit of gold. I'm actually going to stop by and grab more food from the traveling tinker now. Stock up. Because you know that food is the biggest risk of running out of anything. I can handle everything if I just have the food for it. So we're going to pay for some food. Pay for some food. There we go. Back down to two. But we got two more things of food. Or not two more. We got more than two. We got like more than two. It doesn't matter how much. Helpful priest. You meet a wandering priest who grants you in a friendly manner. For a small share of your provisions, I will bless you and that I will have to decline you. No? Well, I'm sure you don't need the help of the gods where you're going. Farewell. I'm sorry, dude. I'm gonna need this food. This is a long one. And a sea voyage. I've never been on a sea voyage. I wanna go. Like IRL, board the ship. You embark upon the next leg of your adventure. Ooh, this one's going to be nice and easy. Let's see here. Goblins, new. Being stout and meek. Goblins know they cannot use strength or fear to survive. They rely on more mischievous methods. They steal from you when you're asleep and escape through magical portals. Scavengers of the earth tell tales of hidden vaults that these goblins hide their ill-gotten loot. Their portals are made by dark magic, unkind to all but themselves. One night, you awaken to find your belongings being rifled through by the goblins. As soon as they notice you stirring, they run away. They've stolen some of your food and gold. Oh, I'ma crush these sons of bitches. Is this a chance for a fight? Is this what's happening? He took five of my food? You know how much money I paid 
for that food. Oh, you limey little bastard. You're about to have a really bad time. Come here, you little shit. There's one of you down. There's another one of you. Come here, you little bitch. I wasn't done with you. Come here! It's not even my gold I'm concerned about. I want my food. Which one of you has my food? Come here. Nah. Nah. Stop running from me. I don't know how long I have to do this. Yeah. Give me my gold back. I may not give out my food back, but I got my gold back. Actually, I think I came out of that with more gold. As you prepare to continue your journey, you notice a small figure hiding in the shadows nearby. You pounce on the creature and drag it into the light. Hello, my boy. What a coincidence meeting you here. Mr. Lionel exclaims sheepishly, having a spot of goblin trouble. Mr. Lionel gives a deep sigh, sits back down, and says, Well, a funny thing, really. I wanted the crown to blackmail my way back into the city, but it turns out that this way is much better. He goes on to explain how after learning that a brazen human thief had dared to raid the Goblin King's home treasure vault, stealing the king's crown no less, he sent word to the king that he could help, help get it back in exchange for ending his exile. All I had to do was agree to help his guards find you and he revoked my banishment. While the crown remains stolen, he can continue to rule by default. He needs me to help him make sure nobody else gets it first. I suppose he'll keep trying to find the crown, but I'm sure you can deal with his lackeys, eh, lad? Mr. Lionel produces a horn from an inner pocket, plays a quick, sharp note, and a magical portal appears behind him. Don't let this world get you down, friend. You never know when luck will go your way. And with that, he grabs his toes, rolls backwards into the portal, and vanishes. This card's token is now yours. Fantastic. You know what? I don't even care, Mr. Lionel. You best be very weary about make letting me see your face. This is the Cursed Gambler. We are going to decline. No way. Playing with you last time? Oh, you cost me gold. Damn it. A merchant's favor. While espousing the wares, you are approached by a profiteer. You look like the trustworthy sort. I am in debt to an acquaintance of Orangeshire. He is holding some items of my collateral. If you deliver this gold to him, an item of equipment could be yours as payment. The shopkeeper makes sure the other customers have gone before lifting a floorboard and taking out a wooden chest. You have my thanks. Please make sure all of the money makes it there safely. Oh my gosh. Ooh, where's it at? No problem. It's right there. Return policy, dude. I have all your gold. Fess up and hand over 100 gold. Thank you. You're welcome, friendo. You can claim a piece of the gear I was holding as collateral. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ring of Justice. What is you? Using a weapon ability caused the player to be fully healed and for the ring to be destroyed at the end of the combat. Ugh, nope. I'll take Frostfang, though. Frostfang could be useful. Let's take you. Yes. We may be going up against the plague. God damn it. This is going to cost me the last of my gold to avoid decline. Uh, you realize some of your food is missing. Oh my goodness, it took a lot of food. Okay, guys, we went from being very comfy edibly to being in a very, very poor position. Ratman hunting. Sweet. And it's the Jack of Plague. That's okay, though. Um, if it's the Jack of Plague, it's entirely possible that we can uh, get enough loot to, for this to be worth it. So we're just going to be just fine. Freezeth you. Ow, ow, ow. I forgot how to fight the Jack. Ow, ow, hang on. Time out. Give me a second. I'm poisoned. Freeze. Ah! Dodge it. Dodge it again. Dodge it again. Who is shooting at me? Come here, you little rat, man. Freeze. Oh, I can freeze the Jack? That's interesting to know. Come here, Jack. Oh, I missed. Hang on. Time out, Jack. 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 Jack, let's talk about this. I don't have a shield. Can we just... Can we... Can we... Talk this out by freezing you? Thank you. That is wonderful. Please die. 
Enjoy! Isn't Fool's Gold supposed to be giving me gold for that stuff? Or did I misread it? Maybe I misread it. Oh well, that's not important. You sigh as you search the bodies, finding nothing. I really needed some food, Brosive. Heroes remains. Um, take the hero's belongings. Well, I'm gonna have to make an excuse this time. Sigh, of course. Being an adventurer means you must wash your hair regularly. All those blood and guts. I'm sorry, I can't afford to spend a lot of time walking around, and on this map, it couldn't matter. You find yourself in a seedy old tavern, spinning tales of your adventures to a group of drunks. Uh, a bearded old soldier scoffs at your tales and challenges you to an arm wrestle, wager your helmet against his gold. Yeah, I will. Two and two. We got a chance. Um, we're gonna, I, I watched him shuffle this time. We're going to go here. Fuck. Damn it. Uh, thanks for the magical helm. You lose your headgear. Oh, what was that anyway? It was not the Ring of Hindsight. It was not my medium armor. It was the Fool's Gold helmet. Uh, ah, You know what? It wasn't even doing me much good anyway. As far as I could tell. Maybe I'm wrong. But I don't think so. Culling the Ratmen. All the lands of the kingdom are being overrun with Ratmen, merchants of my lands. I don't have 50 gold, bro. I'm sorry. At what point would I ever have that much gold? Can I get a merchant, please? I have to leave the Holy Forge. Okay, guys, things are going very, very wrong very, very quickly. Oh, that, that took some damage. Sorry, dude, I don't have any food for you to take anymore. Alicia in the Underworld. I think I've done this one before. As you attempt to discover more about the portal, you meet a mystic... Uh, blah, blah, blah. for a little gold I can help you see uh, I want interest sorry I need this gold you can keep your token I need this gold for food which I'm hoping I can find like oh my gosh it's a shop approach the shop please I need food I'm willing to make a deal brother you don't know the half of it do I have anything I can sell I have my axe my armor we're gonna, uh, you can only sell it for four. What? No. The axe for three. What about the ring for two? Okay, so nothing I sell is gonna be any useful. Can I get good supplies? Nope. No, I cannot. You're good, though. You can give me a little bit of food. Uh. Yeah, I will, because you had me encounter, like, 15 cursed gamblers. <sighs> when they take all my food. Oh my gosh, can you get this cursed gambler out of here? Decline. I have no food, dude. I have no food. You can't, you literally cannot take food from me. Call for the priest. There's no reason to approach the shop, because I have no food. The lovers. Please, I will do anything for food right now. In the town of Stiegel, you meet a man who is serenading a young lady at her window. As you approach, he stops and turns to speak to you. My love and I wish to marry and leave this town, but her father has forbidden it. He is the master of the guild, a powerful figure in Stiegel, with many armed men at his command. I saw you fighting in the arenas. Please, will you help us escape the town so that we may live together in happiness? Uh, yeah, I'll offer to help. Bless you, stranger. Meet us back here at midnight and bring whatever weapons you possess. Wrath of the gods. At the beginning of every battle, the old gods throw down thunder upon one of your enemies. Okay, he leads the way through the town. Oh, boy. I do not know what I've gotten myself into. Eh. I was one away. You make it to the outskirts of the town before a voice in the darkness calls out, Who goes there? It's my father's men, a young lady exclaims, fleeing her lover, following her, leaving you to deal with the guards. A two of dust. All right. We're going to pray we beat these guys and they have food. Or I am not long for this world. Do me a favor and freeze. Oh my gosh, he got smited. And you're down. Food. Food, 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 food. Food. Give me food. I need food. Let me loot for food. Give me gang cards. I need food. Food. 
Food. Food. Uh, after the battle, there's no sign of the young lovers. The card's token is now yours. No gain cards. Shit. Maze of traps. You discover another of the Goblin King's treasure vaults. Will you try your luck at plundering his wealth once more? Damn right I will. I have to. This gold could buy me food. So it's going to be just fine, guys. It's going to be just fine. We're just going to get a bunch of gold. And that gold is going to give us a bunch of food. And it's gonna... Ow. It's gonna be great. Ah! Ooh, ooh. Okay, hang on. Yeah. Ow. Ah! Ah! Oh my gosh. Who designed this section? They can suck a cock. Everything I do gets me hit. We're just gonna come in here. Open this chest. Break a box. Break more boxes. Okay. Ah! Back off it. Ooh. Okay, so they're timing based. See, my problem was I didn't stop to re. Ah! Ow. Ooh, okay. Oh my gosh. Ah. 9 HP. Dealer draws you three gang cards. Oh, please. Not equipment. Please give me food. Armor of cold. Nearby enemies are immediately shot. Okay, fine. Cool. That's cool. Give me food. Not armory. Huge hammer. Arrow cutter. What's arrow cutter? During combat, press 2 to summon a magical shield. Um, we're going we're gonna to take huge hammer. We're actually going to equip that. And gold. I think I'm going to die on the next move, guys. You had, like, six fucking cursed gamblers. What could I have done? You literally rigged it against me. I'm just going to munch my way through all of you. Hope you're ready for that. I'm done fucking around with this game. Now, everybody dies. Just like you. All three of you will meet the haft of my axe. You don't let me have gang cards? No, oh, three gang cards. Oh my gosh, you're feeling fucking generous. War cry. Press 2 to perform a war cry. You'll be able to perform your most damaging attacks without building a combo. Cool. 30 gold. Also cool. And 10 gold per blessing. I don't even think I have a blessing, bro. But thanks. That's a really useful card. Okay, so let's see here. The fuck going up one. We're going to go all the way to the left. Twisted Canyon, a chance for a weapon. Two fairs, two... We're going to close our eyes. He's shuffling. We're going to pick randomly. Pick one. Click. There we go. Success! We're not even looking anymore. Uh, one equipment card. Life's Limb. Press one to inflict a curse of weakening on enemies. Strike a cursed enemies for bonus damage. It does, like, two damage more than my axe. I might as well take it. Maze of Traps. A chance for some serious gold. Yep, we're going in. We're going into the skin. We're going to gather all the gold we can. I know this is technically what got me killed last time, in one sense. I'm aware of that. I know. I know. But it's going to be fine this time. Ah! Ah! What? That's a trap. You can't actually go that way. That's just mean. Alright. Whoop! Nope. Okay. This one's a little di bit more difficult. Don't mind me. I'm just here to get gold. Here to go, old. Oh my goodness. Ah! Oh, come on. I made it through that. Eee! Wait, I need that gold. Eee! Oh my gosh, let me back through. Ah. Oh, it does not let me... Ow. Ow. This one's bad. Ow. 
This is the worst. Why do I keep doing this? Okay, gold. That's that's a booby trap, right? That's gonna be a booby trap. Yeah, I can see it actually. We're fine. Watch this. How? You're not allowed to dodge that. There we go. We made it to the exit. We got a chest. We got a bunch of gold. It cost us some health. It'll be fine in the long run. Trust me, I'm done playing around. Three game cards. Look at that. Armory. Draw two. Pick one. Fortitude's Breath or Fool's Gold. On every uh, weapon ability usage, all bandits are stunned for three seconds. Every bandit killed. That's the player. Two. We're going to take Fool's Gold again. We draw another equipment. Angel's Wing. This helm imbues the wearer with greater movement speed. Ooh. Movement speed is nice, but ultimately I think I'll end up selling it. And then five more gold. We're, we're rocking out this time. Food wagon. Okay, we've done this one. We're going to call out for help. We're going to gain some food. We're going to get a food gain card. Look at that. Five food. Uh, what? And is this the exit? Yeah, it is. Look at that. Up the stairs. Out the path. There we go. All right. We're probably going to run across to Cursed Gambler. Druids, a new card. Woo! New. You are approached by a group of mysterious robed people. Uh, you look well accustomed to battle. Would you like to earn some coin? Damn right I would. We are druids wishing to perform certain rituals over the coming weeks. These activities must place, take place at specific times and places. We cannot risk any interruptions, such as from creatures or bandits. We will pay gold for those who protect us. Damn right. First ceremony will be at the Sacred Stones at exactly midday on the summer solstice. We shall see you there. I have foreseen it. Okay, so this is a uh, quest start. Okay, Cursed Gambler. So, we're going to accept, because I think he... I'm hoping he won't take my food. Now, it's going to be sucky, but we're not We're not going to look. We're not. We're going to pick one. It was a failure. You play poorly. Okay, Tainted Dealer's Revenge. Let's see here. In combat, every dying enemy has a 40% chance to drop a bomb. And Tainted... The player cannot sell anything. Ugh. I'd rather take the bomb drop chance. Okay, a decline. Beautiful. Okay, so we didn't lose our food that time. Tavern wager. Wager 20 gold against his gold. Success, success, failure. We're going to look away again. We got to do this blind. Where is it? Did I make it? Ha! Ha ha! Game card. Five food. Yeah, we did. Yay! A merchant's favor. I think I've done this one before. Uh, accept the offer and take the gold. Heavy burden. And where is the return policy? It's on the next step. There we go. Look at this. Oh, no. No, 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 no. He did well on his debts. Ah. Guys, my spam clicking just got me screwed. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's very bad. I'm going to take a curse now and lose a bunch of HP. Crap. Oh, but I have so much gold. <laughs> Shit, curse gambler. We're going to accept, okay, this is going to be my downfall. Not the Cursed Gambler. The fact that I... Failure. Oh, the fact that I accidentally clicked the wrong thing. Okay, we're getting Cursed, Cowardice, or Compensation. Compensation, whenever the player finishes a combat, they lose one gold per 15 health. Ugh. Cowardice, if the player cannot choose a combat, if they're... Yeah, I'll take that one. That one seems simple. No, I was trying to deny... Oh my god. <laughs> this happened last time too. I tried to deny things and we're dead. <laughs> Combat. Player's movement speed is reduced. Twice the fail. Player loses 5 gold for every fail and 10 gold. Okay, we'll take that one. Decline. Ugh. We're stocked up on curses. Devil's Carnival. One day, dusk, seeming almost days. There's something. Oh, boy. Okay. We're going to keep doing this. It's working so far. No, it's not. We're... Oh, my gosh. Yes, it is. It's absolutely working. Huge success. 
Inside, you discover a number of spectacles. Oh, come on. <laughs> Along the black back of a large tent, you discover a row of cages. Strange creatures look at you mournfully through the bars. You stop at the sight of a beast with the body of a lion and the head of a man. Please help me, the beast exclaims. I was born a man, but then I came here. They did this to me. You open the cage, the beast jumps out, saying, Bless you, stranger. I may live out my days as an animal, but at least I won't have to perform for those devils. Draw one blessing card. Guardian Angel. After your first chance card pick, you may return the card and draw again after shuffling. Okay. This card's token is now yours. Sometime later, you find yourself standing at the edge of the forest, the sounds of the crowd behind you. Okay. We're good. We're surviving. There goes max health. Oh, that hurt. That hurt a lot. That's 50 HP. You reach a trading post in a distant valley run by a strange old woodsman. I've not much use for gold myself, but I'll trade you for food supplies. Pay 12 food, 12 food, 12 food. Decline. Sorry, bro. I'm not giving up any food. <laughs> I'm going to need that badly. Cursed gambler, shop, angry. Okay, we're going to pass up on... Okay. I'm not going back over a cursed gambler. Nope. Sorry. I may never find the shop and use this 169 gold at this rate, but... You're rigged. Your shit is rigged. Decline. Take my gold. Take my food. Whatever. I still have ten food. That's enough. I just have to make it to a shop. Okay, for gold, uh, no. As you wish, he melts into the shadows. Okay, we're gonna be fine. We just gotta find a shop. Master Lionel! Uh, give him twenty gold. Give him the bread from my plate. Here's takes twenty gold. Now let's see what I have for you. He then sits with you for a while before slapping the table. Uh, here, reach in and you will receive your heart's desire. Draw one equipment card huge hammer and it's holy yes that'll do that'll do just fine traveling jeweler yay we found a merchant approach the shop i need food i hope you have food i also need curses removed but it doesn't look like you can perform that so i will just take food three food for 11 or one food for four. Yeah, okay. I just wanted to check prices and make sure I wasn't getting chipped here because I'm stupid. We're just going to buy food. Buy more food. Buy more food. Buy more food. Buy more food. Boy more food. Boy more food. Boy more food. Boy more food. Okay, I'm done buying food. Let's check out his items. I don't really look at items very often. Player fully healed. End of combat. Uh, mercenary contract that makes every successful strike drop gold. That could be useful. And healer's ring. Whenever the player receives healing, they also gain plus one gold. It's nifty. Alright, hang on. Let me just sell something real quick. Let's sell this axe. And then we're also going to sell you. And the reason is so that I can buy this aura back leave yes all right we came out of there with 37 gold food and a lot of our almost all of our gold spent but it's gonna be worth it because now we have uh weapons shield artifacts war cry uh, i'd rather have mercenary contract equipped there we go back beautiful 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 metal ore i'm pretty sure this we're going to ignore it. We're going to ignore it. We're going to ignore it. I will trade you a lucky charm blessed by the gods for some food. He's Yeah, sure, you can have it. Bought it from a trader in the desert. He claimed it had good fortune. All right. That's cool. And there she is. You know, we bought all this food. And we didn't end up needing it. But that's okay. Because it's going to be a tough fight anyway. But we're going to take it. And we're going to bury her ass. We're going to be fine. Hello, Queen of Plague. And your ratters. Dude, I just want you to understand. That you aren't gonna take shit. Ow. Oh, God, I was wrong. Oh, my gosh. What is happening to me right now? I just took a bunch of damage that I couldn't block. Ah. 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 
Hang on, I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Ow, ow, oh my god. Ah, 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 I can't block everything. Ah, oh, that's a bomb. What the fuck? <laughs> what did I do to my computer? 